I just want to give a quick overview of the tool I'll be using to show database um, layout, uh, especially um, in ERD. So I'm taking a uh, look at this. It's called MySQL Workbench. And I'm going to look at this example model right here. And what uh, we can see here is it has um, your typical ERD with you, you have your entities, you have your, your relationships, you can see primary keys, you can see data types if, if you want, um, attribute names and, and so forth and you can even do things like put uh, some label around so this is customer, these four tables represent customer data whereas these tables over here represent uh, you know, inventory and we, there's views down here and there, there are other things and so it's a pretty powerful visual environment and so I'm going to expect that you can look at an ERD that's already been developed like this one and be able to generate SQL for it so that you could say for instance join the customer and address table together or you could join the um, customer and the the rental tables together with this link or the uh, payment and the rental or you know whatever these different uh, relationships are and so I'm not going to describe an ERD or what kind of information you might discover in, uh, on an ERD uh, but what we are going to do is talk about what should an ERD look like if we don't already have one if we're starting from a blank slate and, and so this is the tool we're going to look at in our videos to develop an ERD and to create ERDs and describe the relationships that exist in, in our examples and um, so that's uh, the tool and the, the general idea of, of how it will look.